Hello again. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about this project using a whole tech ship. Um, uh, it's called uh, H12D and H12E. And what they are <coughs> is a transmitter and receiver pair. But as you see here, the four LEDs, those like four outputs on the receiver end. And over here is the transmitter with four little push buttons I, I made there. And that's the little transmitter with the wire hanging up. And uh, the receiver circuit over there. Here on the scope, you can see the pulse is being received at the receiver we are now on a wireless link between the two and I'm going to push these buttons here so you see I'm going to push one to four so you can see on the scope what it's actually doing at the receiver end as you see that see that one there that's button one button two three and four, it kind of goes down there. Now at the same time as I'm pushing those buttons, let me adjust this little antenna here a little better without plugging it out. I think I have 500 uh, yard range. This, let me turn this off somehow. It goes out and find the buttons. So as I push the button, that's button one, button two, button three, button four, or two at a time, you know, three at a time, all four at a time, I only got so many fingers. So from that, you can make a code if you use a processor for whatever you want. Now I haven't told you the fine feature of this whole tech, uh, keep forgetting the name, uh, HT12, whole tech 12, uh, D and, uh, for, um, for decoder and Holtec 12E for encoder. The beautiful thing about this, if we, if we look over here, if we can show in the diagram, is that we can address, I think like 255, <laughs> 255 different receivers or, you know, at one end using just one transmitter so this is pretty fascinating another thing it was kind of hard to um, to get going I beat it around the bush a lot with this because the receiver is in these curves here they let you choose the east the encoder and the decoder have different curves the oscillator frequencies for the encoder need to be 150 times greater than for the decoder. So if you're going to try this, I'm going to give you the resistor values I'm using for the oscillator. I'm using 1 mega ohm, a 1 mega ohm resistance on the encoder. And I have a variable here. Uh, I was very happy when I hit up on the right frequency, but it should be around 50 one kilo ohms so one mega ohm a million ohms to 51,000 ohms one mega ohm to 51 k ohms or 50 k around here and uh, like I said I got like 500 yard range and I might I might uh, breadboard it permanently it was quite a test I I was afraid my transmitter's receiver wasn't working, so I had I used uh, pick axes to transmit a pulse and pick it up on the scope. Once I saw the the transmission link was working good, then I went ahead and uh, happily got this this working. Didn't work the first time, but it's working now. I hope you have enjoyed this short demonstration. And uh, it's a very interesting chip. You could, with, like I said, with the, like with a four-bit pickaxe or pick, 
you can transmit code to maybe 255 different ones uh, for whatever uh, purpose you might want. Over and out. Over and out. Enjoy a beautiful day. Bye.